Hi folks, how are we all doing? It's Colin at Robson Road Repair. This is a extension of the Terminator videos. This is sort of Terminator 2.5. It's an introduction to the two new tours. Before we begin on to the Terminator 3 project. So really I suppose you should call this video Terminator 2 and all that sort of stuff, but hey ho. Here's what it is. Um, what's going on? Well, we have... Finally, I'm putting the two other tours that I previously mentioned on the channel. Um, as you can see by the thumbnail, one is a Starlight Silver MEB 75 estate, and the other is a ZTT X Par Grey estate. Both are diesel automatics, both are factory 135s. The um, Silver is a contemporary SE, very nice spec car. And that's probably going to be my main car instead of, along with the van, going forward, as I needed a vehicle that I can replace my white saloon with because I'll be moving it on, etc. The ZTT um, plan is to sell it once it's sorted, and this is the reason, or at least part of the reason, why it needs sorted. Um, as you can see, auxiliary drive belt, bits of it anyway. The previous owner um, described it as they were driving down the road, all of a sudden there was this god almighty bang and pulled over, checked it, this was the only thing they found. Um, the uh, alternator seems to be seized, everything else seems to be moving okay. However, when they then started the car back up, the insides of the engine on the bottom left hand side, you hear this awful bang, 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 bang noise. Um, quite bad. Now, I will, part of me wants to record the sound of it because I want you to hear it and then the other part of me is thinking that's going to be the one time it goes boom and it will just detonate and there will be bits of engine everywhere and I really don't want to have to deal with that to be honest. Um, regardless, it's here and it's now and it's going to get sorted out. How are we going to do this? Well, this is where the Irish Tour quarter million mile car comes in very, very handy. Between this car needing an engine and other bits and pieces and as I have begun breaking the Irish Tour due to the extensive list of stuff it needed for IBA MOT for import in the United Kingdom um, it has just been a case of it's just not worth it which is tragic it's tragic you don't want to scrap on a car unnecessarily especially because it was a really good spec car but we can't take that and we've got to move on um, People were asking me a couple of questions and I thought I'd throw this in now. Why can't it be exported back to Ireland? Well, it's because it's now registered on the UK's DVLA system. It was also notified to NOVA, which is an importation system here in the UK. The only way the car could go back into the Republic of Ireland now is number one, if it was imported into Ireland. Number two, they then have to declare a percentage value on the tax, first time tax, uh, value of the vehicle and also they really don't like you importing diesel vehicles into the south of Ireland anymore they're trying to really push electric cars and stuff like that and petrol again um, so from that point of view the car is geographically locked now to passing an MOT here in the UK or Ireland it could be done it would be a massive amount of work and it's a lot simpler to do it in the UK than the other way around uh, comically that's a, a Brexit thing Number two, people are asking me like how extensive the list was. It was pretty extensive. Like I said, it was just coming on to three pages. But it was, you know, we're talking about the things from the full length of sills, both sides of the car, three of the four jacking mounts that are inside the sills, they caved in a bit, uh, which is a pretty bad sign when they go. Um, two things like the uh, wiper blades didn't have a CE or um, BSA, kite mark, etc, etc on it, uh, things like that, so I mean, they were really nitpicking. Um, they were hitting me with things like, um, what was the one about the pads? There was something about the brake pads as well, didn't have any information on them in the slightest. And I said, look, you know, at the end of the day, brand new brake pads, the information could chip off or whatever, but they were like, no. Um, they weren't happy about it, so that was on the list as well. Everyone knows you can sometimes get a good tester or a bad tester. I think I got a really fussy tester. Um, but at the same time, I'm quite relieved because he might have just turned around and said, oh, it only needs this or it only needs that. 
gonna need quite a lot. So it's gonna be the car that provides donor engine to the X Park Ray. Nice, sort of circle, life, all that sort of nonsense. And like I say, as previously discussed, it's the rise of the machines, so this machine's rising. Rather than them, the two cars going scrap, we're gonna save one and another one's gonna benefit half a dozen other cars. And it has because there's been people who've been getting free parts and bits and pieces off it already here as I've been giving stuff away as I've been breaking them. So that's it. That's what this is all about. Um, I'm not gonna show you me working on the car because the next video you're gonna see is gonna be me ripping the engine out of the X Park Ray. That'll be follow up in a few days time. Um, what you will see is going to just do a quick introduction to the car and as for the silver car like i said we'll do a more in detail video about it at a later date it's just to introduce it to the channel and to sort of show people you know a lot of people talk about doing upgrades and modifications and 75s and stuff like that and this car is a really good example of how to do things right um how to do things where you're not compromising the car um, keeping the functionality and the comfort and balance and all and stuff like that. So for me, I mean, it was a car I've always admired. I knew the level of work that was put into it, so I'm very, very happy to give it a home. So yes, let's introduce you to the two terrible tours that have arrived and we'll see what happens before the end of this video. Here we are with this ZTT. We lost the audio recording, so I've had to redub this on YouTube. Um, as you can see, the example of the X Park Ray with the diesel automatic, reasonably good condition overall. It's been well looked after, it's been well maintained and loved. There are a few niceties, but this is the area where the bottom end noise is coming from. Haven't heard it now, it sounds almost like a wobble, it's a bit odd. We also have the usual problems with things like the headlights are going to need a wee polish and tidy up as well. But overall, the vehicle externally needs almost nothing, in my opinion. It'd be a perfectly good serviceable daily. And another benefit of it being a daily is it has a sunroof, a definite rarity in a Mark II ZTT. Inside we have top spec leather interior, as hopefully most of you people would appreciate. Black oak, etc. And there is a nice hole for a radio, but the only thing that really is a hole is the headliner is gone. Needs to be replaced, although I think that'll probably take as much work as the actual engine swap, to be completely honest. Rear end of it's all good, as you can see, it's just got loads and loads of dust in it and no damage to the seats at all. So, a few tweaks and it'll be all good. These rims were my rims years ago. A big part of the reason why I bought the car back, actually, because I really, really wanted these. I took these rims all over Europe, all over the United Kingdom, etc., for nearly 10 years. Really missed them when the opportunity came back to buy them. A few other benefits are things like it has a swan neck tow bar. As you can see, it's got parking sensors and IPK and all the toys. And whenever I was going through it, we found the uh, Irish registration number plates, which might be interesting for our Southern of Ireland owners. This actually is actually an import from the Republic of Ireland. Has a few other nice wee things like the wee dog guard divider, etc. Overall, the car is pretty presentable, bar one tiny little chip in one of the taillights. Um, I could happily say that throw it in for an MOT and I have a spare boot liner. It's what I was literally about to do as I began filming this video. Very presentable car, looks clean, looks tidy, cells are in great condition. Um, nice simple, so we've got vented rears and uh, the standard small fronts, so it's a cheap maintenance project. Inside wise, as you can see again, nice, tidy, all the buttons you could ever want and cruise control. Great spec ZTT, great spec car. Really looking forward to getting torn into this and we'll see what happens as the end result. Hopefully all goes well it's going to make someone a really nice everyday car and as part of it as well you can see that i had the pelt in my hand earlier on you can see where the the belt snapped going to be an interesting job i'm going to have to do things like regassing it all but there's a lot of extras in this car as you'll see when i'm dismantling it and um, boost controllers operated intercoolers all that sort of stuff but for simplicity i will be reverting the vehicle back to basic standard spec to allow the individuals to ensure it without any problems but overall that's it that's her and hopefully you enjoy it now the car came with a bunch of extras including these rims and um, they will be going on on a temporary basis as i take off the five spokes i'll be keeping them for myself i'll ultimately will choose to replace it with a nice set of zt's probably grid spokes or something like that on top of that as well i've been sorting out alloy wheels in general <laughs> some of you may have seen i have these nice seven spokes for sale on uh, social media 
on top of that as well i think they're a really nice rim they were on my limo and bar this tiny little mark very frustratingly they're absolutely immaculate after a refurb um speaking of refurb i recently had these done by a company called east coast customs here in northern ireland um we decided to throw a bit of them into the mix and had sparkle silver put on to the forked alloys i know sparkle silver wasn't actually originally done but nonetheless i thought hey you know We'll give it something different, and I got new badges from Albon's uh, badge production group. I will link that description in the video below. But here we are. Here is the Mark II 75 Tour. This is going to be my new everyday tour once I sell my white saloon. Very nice car. Very much loved example. Um, great, great car. There's. I'll go into full details in another video as well. But a um, few upgrades and things that got to be done. Obviously, contemporary SE spec has every toy, bar sunroof, has power folds, has the whole lot. Like, um, lovely little Android sat nav unit and real wood dash, etc., etc., etc. Cars overall in pretty good condition. Um, I've given it a wee bit of a clean on the inside and literally took it through the drive through car wash on the outside and threw some tire slick on it. And it came out quite well. There are silly things that annoy me that I'm going to have to sort out about. Um, like there's a door card popped off in my hand, so I'm going to have to sort a door card out. But I thought what was interesting is this is a 147,000 mile example. Real nice example. And unfortunately, there's uh, like anything, you can never seem to predict the miles in these cars and how they're going to affect them. It does have the star spoke alloys. The alloys are the thing that definitely lets the car down the most. I'll probably put my five spoke alloys on it once I have them refurbished. It has a full size tow bar and 13 pin um, towing socket, but there's a seven pin adapter in there as well, so very handy. It has all the goodies and bits and pieces, and unfortunately the only thing that lets the car down is a wee bit of trim missing, but I'm gonna rip that off the uh, Irish Spectre, and the back of the headliner has just started to go that is unfortunate, but it just seems to be that these cars are now approaching the 20, 25 year mark. Headliners are an issue. So, cars turned out nice, it's turned out well. Very, very happy with it so far. I can't really take any credit for the car because the car was formerly owned by my mate Mark Sterling. Um, he's done a lot of work on the car. At one stage, he had the entire car stripped as he upgraded the entire vehicle with H&K subs and amps and stuff like that, whole wiring looms out, etc. The work that he put into the car was absolutely unbelievable. And it wasn't as good a spec as it was from factory. It's far exceeding that now. Again, the only thing that needs to be done really on the car to tidy it up is polish the headlamps. But I'm going to do that here as of a kit waiting. Unfortunately, it didn't arrive in time to film it for this video. I have to admit, I am pleasantly surprised. I managed to give the engine bay a bit of a tidy up. It has been the definition of a car that shows you that it's been mechanically loved and driven and the engine bay took a little bit of tidying to be honest but it came out quite well and i, I did laugh um because it used to be a mod i used to do all the time the old deleting of the uh, air intake it used to be the the big thing we used to do 15 odd years ago on the 75 diesels um i have one to go on to it i just haven't got around to doing it yet but things like Dundit, you know, mathless, um, mathless remaps in it, and we have a boost controller, we have upgraded metal pipes, we've upgraded intercooler, all this stuff I'll show on a dedicated video. It's the kind of stuff that enthusiasts, when it's done right, you get real, real, the, the, the cars are transformed, and a lot of the problem is whenever people are doing the 75 diesel stuff, it's very half arsed. So, like I say, there's only a few wee tweaks needing doing to the car. Um, that wee badge needs a grill as well. Part of me is 50-50 torn on spraying the grill black, um, like I had done with my van. I'm very fond of the old plastic dip and doing the mesh and all as well at the same time. But, to be honest, the car needs nothing but driven and enjoyed, and I can't wait to drive it and enjoy it. Whew, what a warm day this has turned out to be. So, after... Started filming them. The uh, sky's absolutely emptied, 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 emptied for about 40 minutes. And now it's back to this warm, muggy heat. It's a definitely not a dry heat, shall we say. But so, what's the plan then? Well, where we are now, I have set myself a personal strategy. 
Number one, I have to get the van here ready for MOT. So what's being done on that? Well, I've already done the oils and filters and stuff, and I have got myself a new set of discs and pads on it. Um, doesn't need them, but I have them, and they're about. I'm, I'm I put Mintex pads on at this time instead of Mtech pads, and I think I got sold a fake set of Mintex pads quite frustratingly. So I'm just putting the Mtech pads on with new discs for the sake of an hour's work. It's done, and I'm takes that off my mind completely. Then after that, the next job is the White 75. So, the White 75 I have planned to sell for quite some time, but as of this moment in time, all it remains to do is, excuse it, it's parking at a funny angle, all it remains to do now is to get the car MOT of all the filters and service and bits and pieces it's getting basically what I consider hasn't done 100,000 miles but I'm giving it 100,000 miles service and um, the boots filled with parts and other bits and pieces and the car itself filled with filters and stuff like that and all and getting that all done so that's the two I need to get done then what I'll have to do is the Wii 75, it needs a sill. It needs about 8 inches of a sill. So when you order one of the good pre-made ones off eBay, um, and have that welded in, have that painted up, and then the car will be ready for sale with a year's MOT. Um, it shouldn't fail in anything. Oh, famous last words, of course, like, but... So I've said to myself, if that's sitting ready, have my van, MOT, etc. I want to get everything urgent out of the way and then I can focus on this engine swap the plan is now if the weather holds I'm gonna finish the van today and start into the white saloon because I can move the white saloon to storage as I await um, the cell arriving and I'm being brought to a body shop to be welded and painted yeah, it is what it is, but I'm trying to do this right. I'm trying to reduce the amount of cars I have. And then the money raised from the white car will go towards saving up to respray my yellow ZTT. You can all see the plan here. You can all see the plan. And we'll see from there. But the good news is I managed to get my... 75 saloon sorted my 061 that was the one that was in the bad crash it needed quite a bit of tidying up um and i got it done just as it started raining so i'm going to flip over to that now and you'll see what i consider a car that has had a real bad couple of years with dents and dings and stuff like that it's turned around very very nicely and the other half is completely over the moon about the end result um, so we'll jump to that quickly. Following on from earlier on, that is the new rims fitted onto the car. Placement wing fitted as well, take the worst of it out. I have to admit, I think Sparkle Silver on the MBB with forked rims. It's not a bad little combo, is it? It's amazing the differences you can make to these little cars with just a few little tweaks. And it's that 75 done and dusted. We're back to making sure everything's all good. We're doing our wee regular checks, coolant and stuff like that. And it's funny, you know, these headlights buffed a year ago and I've been using that sealant on them. Great stuff since. Can't recommend it enough. And the... Uh, the off-brand plastic dip has really, really held up as well. Very really impressed with that. So yes, um, get this done, get this MOT'd. Then that can be my daily driver for a few more weeks. I'm not gonna tax the new estate until the end of the month. Get that sorted. And then I can tell to myself, hey, everything's all good because I've got a new job which I'm really, really excited about. Some of you have maybe seen that on social media. I'm going to be working as a delivery driver for a nationwide car parts company, 
which as you can imagine is definitely not something that I would really enjoy. Um, really, really over the moon about it. It's only a few miles from where I live as well. So could be quite handy having um, a car parts company when you have this many cars you have to sort out. But if nothing else, um, very, very happy because I'd moved jobs quite recently and it didn't work out, didn't work out. And I had to move on myself for my own personal benefits. Um, so it's kind of funny how things flip flop so much and it's really motivated me to get out here and get these cars sorted out. So yeah, um, good times all around here, uh, to be honest. Right, it's getting late. I have to go to job number two this evening. Have to get this finished off beforehand so I have something to drive. And the next video will be all about the process of ripping the engine out of the grey tour. So that will be the full Terminator 3 video. Um, and that will mean that I then have had all my work done on my white car. Bar that sill, which I'll need doing. Too many cars, too many projects. But it never stops, does it? Never stops. So, as always, folks, thanks very much. This is more of an update video. The next video will be a good video. Um, I've just had so much going on recently. I haven't had time to even film what I've been doing. It's just been a, a Wild West situation, to say the very least. So, thanks as always. You just know how to interact. You just know how to contact me. You just know, want to hit the eBay shop up, hit the eBay shop up. And thanks as always, and I'll catch you in the next video.